Ochuna, the new restaurant that opened at Tropicana, is more than just that. According to the manager, it's a new type of experience right here in Belize City. He's hoping that from the moment you hear the name, you think of exotic dishes and memorable performances without having to leave the country. We choose this name because it comes from Mexico and we choose this name. We feel in a good way here in Belize, of course. We want to show you here in Belize. Uh, we want to make Belize exotic again, you know, because we have good places, good islands, good places to have fun. And here we want to bring this new concept. So this is part of the, of the name, music, food, drinks. So everything we are going to have here. We have some concepts from Miami and Cancun and all of parts of Mexico that we have some restaurants there. And we want to bring the show here the same. While the people is having dinner, we want to have shows, performance, uh, action th with the people, you know. We are going to have lights, we are going to have party at the end of the night. So we want to make different concepts here in Belize. And you cater to high-end customers. Yes, it's part of ours. And it's a high-end experience. We were serenaded by a saxophonist, swept up by the violinist, and dazzled by the drummer. Indeed, an experience far beyond just a regular dinner outing. And they chose to stage all this eclecticism, not in Placenta or San Pedro, but in the much maligned Belize city, which they said offered the perfect setting for the vision to be realized. Belize is exotic. We choose Belize because here the people, it's amazing the, the, the way that they are. I love the way that they have party. So we really want to come here because as I told you, our logo name is going to be let's make Belize, Belize exotic again. So we want to make Belize exotic, bring people around the world to come here, watch the show, the performance, eat the food from here and everything. But like every restaurant, the experience revolves around the food they serve. The executive chef told us what he hopes customers will get out of dining at Achuna. Really we're trying to create like a, a new um, experience for the local people and tourism as well, you know. So we create this menu based, based in uh, Asian flavors, mix it with some Mexican flavors as well, and of course the Belizean flavor. So you're going to have like a, a new experience, like tasting this menu is like something that you never going to you have never tried here, okay? So I'm, no, I'm not presuming, I'm just saying like the truth and uh, I hope you guys like it. But while there are many flavors he hopes to incorporate, most of the meals, like these succulent lamb chops, were locally sourced. Well, most of the ingredients are locals, so the only thing that I have imported is the ribeye. Because I, I couldn't find like a, a quality that I want to offer to the, to the customers here, you know? I've been trying food all over the, the city. And I was like shocked about the, the, the ribeye, the flavor and the, the tender. So I'm just uh, trying to, to get better products from outside, just like ribeye. But the, the rest of the ingredients are local. So, so I'm, the, yeah, chops. the lamb chops are local. The salmon? The salmon is not, <laughs> not local. It's not possible to be local. But he also told us that it wasn't easy combining the different cultures into the items on the menu. example, the ceviche that I've been trying all over the city, it's like, for me, it's like a pico de gallo, where in Mexico it's like a salad, like a sauce, you know? So here I have to, to make like a, like a mix between Belizean and Mexican ceviche, because we, all, we, we eat it raw in Mexico, you know? We cook it with the lime uh, juice, but here, guys, I know you like it like pre-cooked. Yeah, like blanched. Uh -huh. So I blanched it, and after I did like my, my magic with the Mexican ingredients and the Mexican flavors, but with your vegetables. And while they're looking to attract tourists, the manager, Yael Rosas, told us that this experience will also be for the everyday Belizean. We're gonna try to have different kind of discounts, special days, you know, we have, we're gonna have all of these kind of things for local people, but uh, we are gonna try to have different things, different promotions and all stuff. And they will need every seat to be filled if they hope to recover the investment in this lush, luminous location. Cordy Menzies, 7 News.